Apparently, I have a thing for themes of time. Time travel, time manipulation, and the likes that take place over defined periods always pike my interest. While many protagonists have the power of time manipulation, it isn't a mechanic usually utilised by enemies, given that it's so powerful. I suppose this is why developer Lucid A96 decided to use it to create an extremely dangerous monster in their individual novel Historia Chapter 1. Historia puts you in the shoes of Doug. A high schooler with a dysfunctional family who often hangs out at his friend Max's place to avoid them. Tonight is one of those nights, except the moments of solace are interrupted, not by an angry father, but by a horrifying translucent snake monster right out of my nightmares. With Max's life on the line, Doug attacks the creature and by some miracle he lives. Doug, that is. Max doesn't make it through the night. If he ever was there at all. You see, no one seems to know who Max is, and the home is now owned by some stranger. These events lead Doug to meet Emma, a girl who wants to kill the serpent by any means necessary. There aren't many characters introduced throughout the story, but there are quite a few unique sprites for characters and a variety of well-drawn environments and CGs. I'm also hoping for a soundtrack release at some point because the game's background music is really good at immersing you in the story. More often than not, I complain about protagonists who are faceless, but I honestly didn't notice this time. Historia Chapter 1 tells such a fast-paced story that punches scene after scene with tensions and mystery running high 24-7 that Doug's design was the last thing on my mind. One the primary reason for the constant tension is the monster, the rainbow or a serpent. As Emma and Doug try to figure out how they can kill it, they're acutely aware that all who are consumed by the serpent are erased from time itself. Combine that with the fact that Doug's mental state is rapidly deteriorating and we've got ourselves a recipe for success. Historia Chapter 1 tells an entirely linear story but makes full use of visual novel tools to tell a compelling tale. It is, however, quite short so some players might want to wait for more chapters before jumping into this tale. Still, I'm very excited to see where this story goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Noisy Pixel is brought to you by a group of gamers who are dedicated to bringing you the best news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe if you haven't already and stick around for more videos on all the latest stuff. I have no idea where this was going. I forgot the script. Please don't tell me there's a serpent nearby.